Okay, so welcome to the Bookmap Live Order Flow Advanced Analysis Risk Disclaimer. Trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And uh, if you haven't yet uh, found us on Twitter, you can uh, follow us here. It's at, at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, and then also uh, you can also uh, uh, subscribe to our YouTube page here. Uh, and any videos that are, are uploaded, uh, you can get alerts for, etc. All right. So, um, okay. So, as you know, this is the advanced webinar. This is only for the, those in trial or uh, currently uh, uh, using Bookmap uh, current customers. Okay. So, uh, we'll just jump right in and start looking at more of the advanced uh, analysis immediately. Uh, any questions you have about the, uh, the platform, that's fine. Happy to go through it. Um, it's, uh, it benefits everybody, uh, but um, uh, we are much more involved here in, in live order flow analysis and understanding how to use Bookmap and the insight that it, it, it uh, gives us uh, to our advantage. Okay, so uh, there's something I, I first want to cover, uh, and that is oil. Okay, because uh, the other day, uh, last Wednesday, when we had the uh, inventory, so let's see, this is... Um, Here's Friday, Thursday, here's Wednesday, okay. So here was the sell-off here, okay. Now the, the news was actually good and we actually tapped it to the upside here uh, uh, after the news and then um, uh, the inventories, uh, and then then we just, uh, we sold off for the rest of the day. The next day as well, we came back down, tapped the bottom uh, and then uh, the buying stepped in. So what was really curious, uh, now I'm looking at an hour chart here, an hour candlestick chart. So let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay. Um, was we saw at, at around this level, around this 4741, um, just tremendous amount of uh, absorption. Okay. On the way down. And we know that that, that actually occurred. It was, it was factual. Uh, we saw it right in front of us. So um, that is what I'm trying to go through here is we're, looking at that and watching it uh, on the higher time frames where you know in the moment but uh, we're we're using that data here not for uh, order flow for just a, a quick scalp here or there but we saw something really interesting occur and unfold that led to this move to the upside that we saw on Friday okay now we're trading back down uh, but uh, we'll see if the buyers are still engaged here in, in, uh, in crude. Uh, but my point is that you can extrapolate what we saw in Bookmap uh, for a much higher time frame and bigger picture as well. We know that they were absorbing here. Okay, that was that was uh, evident and clear. Uh, and uh, you wouldn't have been able to see that. Uh, it would be very difficult in other uh, charting platforms. Okay. We can see the big volume spikes here, uh, and we saw the absorption take place. I was looking for it all day long. Like I thought we'd see a, a real nice move to the upside. I thought it would fly to the upside. Instead, it did not. We consolidated uh, lower. We found the buyers the next day all right, down here. And yet, even at the end of that day, we didn't really get much. It, it happened the day after that on Friday. Uh, and then you can see the big move to the upside, but we know their position here, right? So look for that, all right? And know know that and keep that in mind that uh, this area here was where they were um, get, uh, getting into their positions. Uh, and now we have a, an understanding. We're taking the factual data and we're putting this together uh, into uh, our, uh, our our trading uh, our trading plan. Okay, or uh, our, our story of just understanding where they're positioned and how moves like this can take place. All right, so uh, it's um, uh, the reason I want to cover that in, in, and I covered it the last few days, was that first off, it's objective and it's factual. Um, secondly, uh, you can use this information on much higher time frames. Okay, so it's not just uh, some you know uh, amazing scalping tool, all right? So uh, uh, just by putting all, all of the uh, uh, pieces together here and understanding uh, really what occurred uh, is is uh, is the key here, and then putting that together into a plan, 
right? So it's down here that you really see the bind, initiated bind coming in, pushing it to the upside above this uh, 4693 area. And uh, we get one more little tap here and then it, then it uh, moves to the upside, okay? So anyway, um, that's uh, uh, what I wanted to cover on that. Uh, let's take a look at, um, uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll, we we had nice luck with the uh, the Nasdaq on Friday. We can uh, take a look at that again, or maybe uh, maybe we'll just take a look at crude as well since we're already here, right? And uh, we can see that uh, uh, it's been selling off uh, this morning, uh, and we are. I mean, I don't really see any interesting levels on this hour chart. Uh, you know, maybe kind of a POC area here, but it, it's really down to like this 4750 area. And then our 4740 that we had previously drawn, uh, you know, back on uh, back on the 15th on Tuesday. Okay. Other than that, I don't really see much here in this chart. Let's look at maybe 15 minute. Okay. Yeah. Not nah, 40, 4740s. It, it as well as maybe uh, we can take a look here. We can see some initiated selling here around 4822. Uh, and then uh, this is where we broke from here, right? Uh, and we can see we already had a retest of it, and then we continued on on down, All right? So let's take a look at uh, crude and uh, what's going on. Okay, so I'm also uh, now on the. Oh, I'm sorry, that's gold. Here's crude. I'm on the V contract. Okay, so for um, for October. Okay, so we've rolled over into that uh, that new contract. Um, okay, so uh, well, here's here's what we got going. Um, not bad, not bad. All right, we uh, we can see the uh, uh, move to the upside here. Uh, nice break here down below all of this trading activity, uh, and um, you know same same patterns uh, again and again that we we're looking for. Are we going to accept? Uh, uh, down below this area, if so, um, or are we going to come back into, you know, reject out of that area and come back into the range? Well, it's very clear what, what happened here, okay? We accepted lower. We had a retest up here uh, to basically the um, uh, this uh, uh, 48.22 area, uh, and then we continued lower, all right? So uh, that's uh, what occurred. Uh, and uh, unfolded here in crude. Now it's getting interesting down here. Look at this kind of rounded bottom, and this is what I covered also on Wednesday. That this is a very strong pattern here, uh, and um, uh, you know you, you see absorption, 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 and then you see the order flow change, and you can see the change starting to occur here. Okay, look at the higher highs uh, taking place here, and uh, and um, a higher lows as well. Okay, and these breakdowns, look at how these breakdowns slowed. Okay, let me zoom in just a little bit more. Let's zoom vertically as well. Okay, and let me just adjust this heat map a bit. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. Okay, uh, so... Um, uh, yeah, looking like we're gonna yeah, come up here and maybe try to grab some of the stops up here at 48.20 if they can just push it a little bit higher, and maybe we'll get up into uh, into 28, okay, where we previously broke down before, right? That's what we were looking at just earlier. Um, but uh, okay, so uh, this pattern here, uh, very very powerful pattern uh, because. Uh, it, it takes a while for this to kind of, uh, you know, turn over, but we can understand the majority uh, of the players uh, in this pattern, okay? So the breakdowns here, although we see more volume trading at lower lows, okay? Uh, we, we can look at that all the way through starting here. Lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, uh, all the way through here. Nice flush to the downside here, okay? And we still see down here, uh, after um, you know 10:45, we're still ha we still have more volume trading at lower lows. Okay, but look at the breakdowns in these areas here. From here and then this little um, area at 10:45, the breakdown is uh, only a couple ticks. Okay, and the breakdown here is only a couple ticks as well. Okay, and 
let's uh, zoom into this area here because it gets pretty interesting. Um, and we can see that uh, uh, we get uh, one more uh, test here. Uh, and then look at the volume that traded here on that retest. Okay, this is the double bottom. And it's not as much volume as previously. Okay, If we're going to continue on trending lower, that's what we're looking for is more uh, sell volume uh, occurring at this area. Okay, And it just didn't uh, unfold. Okay, And in fact, this is where the order flow changed over right here. We see buyers start to come back in. Okay. Now, microstructure, I mean, we can see that there's a little area here that we broke and we see some uh, some buying starting to occur at a higher area. Okay. We kind of go back and forth and back and forth. And then finally here we get that break and we have nice cluster of volume trade at a higher area, okay, a higher high. All right. So that's a shift. Okay. That order flow had shifted over. Okay. And we're just talking about the transactions right now, not the heat map uh, so much. Uh, the heat map, though, uh, is, um, well, let me finish up with uh, the, the transactions, okay, and the volume. Okay, we still, we're, now we're starting to make higher lows as well, and we can see <coughs> the volume trading uh, at some of these levels. Okay, there's very uh, few contracts now, which is the opposite on the other side here. Okay, and in fact, that leads to this nice move to the upside. Uh, and price discovery to the upside here. All right. So, uh, uh, and then we see a, another higher low here uh, down into this little, um, it's going to be a cluster as well. We could also probably look at some structure here. Uh, and we can kind of, um, you know, have a line go across here. Uh, somewhere around here. I mean, you know, somewhere between here and maybe here. Uh, I like it here just because of this little, a swing to the upside, okay, this little swing here, uh, and uh, and that's exactly where we come back down to as well, all right, and and at this point, look at look at the volume that traded here, look at the volume that traded over here, and we can see it's a lot of uh, aggressive buying as well, all right, uh, in fact, we can also have another horizontal line as well here, and let's see if we get a pullback right down to it now. Okay. So, um, uh, and then we'll see what, you know, uh, if there's a lot of selling here or not. Okay. If there's not, we're looking for right now. If there's not, we're looking for the buyers to step in. Okay. And um, uh, let's see if we, uh, we get it here. Aggressive buying. Okay. And we can see the high liquidity is here, uh, up at uh, 4814, 175 contracts. Okay, here they come. Okay, now you know we we never know uh, if if you're looking for that you know um, uh, initiated buying, um, you know this is it it just may leave the station before you uh, get involved. Okay, so. It's um, uh, one of those things, uh, you know, we, we always have to assume some risk, right? Now, uh, there's some things happening here that I actually I don't really like too well. Um, and I just want to make that point um, before I get to, you know, analyzing this area. I want to make this point here um, that um, uh, if you are playing this game with the looking for that initiated bind, uh, you know, getting filled on a, with your limit order is going to be kind of tricky, right? Uh, I mean, you can place it at some of these areas, but you just don't know if they might follow through to the downside, okay? And if you want to, uh, what you could do is you could place a buy uh, stop order up above in this area, looking for that initiated buyers to take you into that trade, okay? Uh, that's that's a possibility, or you can just start to wait for big green dots and then just jump in with a market buy. Okay, but if you're looking for a pullback at that time, especially in the thinner markets, you probably aren't going to get it. Okay, so be aware of that. Uh, now that said, uh, there's a few things that I don't like uh, in the order flow here that that uh, doesn't lead to uh, uh, maybe um, uh, higher uh, probability. 
of uh, looking for that extension to the upside. Number one is I can see all the way through here more aggressive uh, sellers uh, at kind of these lower areas here. Okay? Even in this area here, look at them uh, getting more aggressive in this little area as well right here at, um, you know, back uh, around uh, 11.09 or 08 uh, at uh, 47.97. Okay, so we're also at the figure here at 48, of course. Uh, so uh, that uh, is kind of making it uh, a little more convoluted, this picture, uh, as well as here, right? They're, they're starting to um, uh, offer uh, not at the highs. Okay, they're getting aggressive. Okay, they're, they're, and they're lowering that offer as well. Okay, so it's not just, it's just not quite as, as clear. Uh, of a setup okay now it might rocket to the upside uh, at this point it's a strong pattern as we know uh, but uh, I'm seeing some other things in it that um, uh, maybe uh, you know starts to uh, uh, subtract uh, uh, some of the uh, the interest uh, at uh, at this uh, some of these levels here that is coming through in the heat map okay it's the heat map that is giving me that insight here okay so now you can see we're integrating the transactions with the heat map, okay, and, and getting some insight there and looking for just a higher probability, a more insightful trade decision. All right, now if you, it's up to you uh, uh, and the way that you trade. Uh, for me, uh, this would start to, I, I would want something, uh, I would look for something to be a bit stronger. Uh, and uh, this would keep me out of the trade. I'll just keep, you know, sit on my hands and let this uh, uh, let this play out until I have more insight to what's going on. Okay. I also don't like it that we, I was looking for originally that we saw this nice uh, move to the upside. I'm looking for this area up here, 48.20. Okay, because I know there's going to be a lot of uh, 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 stops up in this area. Okay, we didn't get there. Okay. In fact, where did we go to? Well, we went right to in this little area here. Let's just take a look here because I want to put this within my trading range. Okay. And I'll show you why. Okay. Uh, I want to put this into my trading range here because I want to look at the, the, um, the profile of that activity here. Okay. Here's the volume profile. Right. So I'm looking at kind of uh, the level here, the POC, the VWAP. POC is here at uh, 48.14, which is interesting. That's where we saw those limit orders, right, at 48.14. Okay, and our VWAP is up, up above just a, a tick or two. Okay, So uh, this, the fight for the kind of the POC for this little area right here uh, was uh, the auction, uh, it, it failed to go higher. Okay, So um, now let's uh, zoom back out. Okay. And that's what occurred here okay, as we go across. All right. So now I'm combining that with what I'm seeing in that limit order book where they want, where they're uh, getting aggressive. Uh, and um, uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, the potential for uh, something that we, we talked about on Wednesday unfolding here. We, and I've seen this, we see it all the time. You, you see a nice, very nice uh, pattern here. Okay, this rounded bottom like this, it's, it's a powerful pattern. Um, and you get one test and you'll get another retest and then you'll get continuation to the downside. Okay, so let's see if we'll get that, we'll see if we get our retest here. Okay, with uh, uh, into uh, this kind of 14 area here. Uh, and uh, if we do not hold it and the buyers dry up, I'm looking for first stop is going to be probably right here. Uh, at this um, uh, 93 area, this line that we drew in uh, previously. Okay, that's also going to be the POC, as you can see here, uh, the most traded uh, volume uh, here. Okay, in fact, uh, this looks to be, for my session at least, the most traded area here. All right. So, uh, and then it will be a fight for that area here, and see if the sellers might even be able to take it below that. All right. Okay, so um, I see your your um, your uh, question here, Glenn. So um, 
let me um, let me just try to simplify this uh, first so that you guys can uh, uh, look for it in uh, kind of a step process here okay we were reading the transactions number one okay and where they were occurring and then we saw we were reading them in this area here and we saw that uh, there was a switch right right basically here at this low uh, you know double bottom retest and then we started to see the order flow the transactions and the aggressive buying flip over okay they were sellers more in this area here and they started to come become more uh, uh, interested in buying and we saw a nice move here to the upside okay. we started to draw in our structures okay so that was number one was understanding the transactions number two was setting up uh, our uh, our structures Okay. And then looking for time and volume uh, to, to um, occur above some of those structural areas. Okay. And uh, beautiful little retest here with low volume. This is a low volume pullback okay, into where it broke from previously. And uh, due to the amount of um, uh, volume that traded up here, We'll give it a retest, and we is exactly what 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 occurred here, okay? Because the market can trade up here. Not only is there uh, were there other traders uh, transacting up here, there's also liquidity here. Okay. Now, I didn't like this aggressive liquidity here on the offer, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, but uh, we we trade into it. It looks like a lot of it was pulled, some of it traded, uh, and then uh, we get nice volume cluster here, and then we see the follow through to the upside. Okay, so number one, looking for the transactions and, the, and the, that to shift. Okay, number two, drawing in your structures. Okay, uh, and, uh, and then number three, starting to understand the auction. Okay, understanding the behavior here as well as in this area here. Right, that uh, we didn't really quite like uh, too much. Uh, so, uh, uh, as, as well as uh, going back into step number two, and that is structure, okay? We, we anticipated the move to occur up here, okay? Around this uh, 47, yeah, or 48, 19, or 20, okay? We didn't get it. In fact, we, we got uh, was the, uh, we, we went back and we looked at that in our trading range, and we saw kind of a you know high volume node right here at I think it was 40 it was at uh, at 14 uh, was where we saw that high volume node. In fact, we went up a, above it a little bit higher, but the, and then we completely failed. We just went a tick higher. Um, okay, so so let's do it. Let's do that once again. Okay, and just go through that process. Reading the transactions, okay. Reading it in a trend in the downtrend, more volume trading at lower lows, you know, uh, lower highs with less volume, and then the the, the switch happened here in the in the transaction, in the transactions, okay. So, uh, and then we broke the structure here. We actually initiated and broke it here, to be honest, but um, uh, that's pretty microstructural and can be kind of noisy. It's a lot cleaner here, uh, and then uh, and then we have uh, less volume trading uh, in these areas here with higher lows. Okay, looking for price discovery to the upside. We come up into uh, another line that we had drawn here. Okay, uh, and um, that was due to the swing here. But there's some other stuff going on here as well as you can see very very clearly. Right, so. Um, Drawing the structure, understanding the uh, the, the uh, transactions, and then looking to that that limit order book here as well, uh, and what's going on in the uh, 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 in the auction, okay? And so far, so good. I mean, we here's our retest so far, right? Uh, now we're getting we're coming up to it again here, okay? And let's see, let's see if we get follow through to the upside, okay? But I, I'm still, you know, I, I I'm staying away from it. All right, due to the, the limit order book and what it's been telling me. OK, 
Okay? It's just factual uh, data, and uh, uh, looking at this data uh, gives us the uh, the insights uh, th that uh, uh, you know start to uh, uh, anticipate some of these moves. Now look at them getting aggressive here. Okay, we just saw them uh, stepping in at uh, 4809. And it's, now here comes our, let's see if we get the uh, follow through to the downside. This, the, this is looking pretty good. Let's see if the sellers really take control here. Okay, first stop is going to be down here uh, at this uh, uh, 93 area. Yeah, it looks, looks nice. It's, it, they just, they need to hit the bid pretty hard here. And there we go. We need we need more though. We need some more selling here. Okay, we broke down below 48. Okay, 48 is the key level. Okay, now we're testing right back up to where we broke from. It's a battle. I mean, look at you can look at the transactions here. Okay, so starting to change, uh, uh, you know, a, a little bit here. I mean, it's it's both sides are in the game here. You know, sellers aren't dominating yet. Okay, now now they are. Okay, now let's see if they step in here and start buying again at down down at 93. Okay, we're all, we're just testing into it. Okay, we're up at 94. I saw the the bid, yeah, the bid came into 93 a few times here. Okay, all right, down below now, high liquidity here at at uh, 47.90. Okay, and they've been here for a while. Right, I like it. Okay, and 47.90, that is our POC down here. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's be on the lookout here how these buyers are gonna gonna handle it down here. Uh, how far back in time do you want to look to see where the buyers and sellers were positioned to determine support and resistance? Um, Glenn, um, it's a great question. Um, you know, I, I think um, uh, why I um, reacted so strongly to what we saw on Wednesday was I was just seeing massive orders getting absorbed, uh, and uh, I, I was I, I found it a little a little shocking, um, and to see that happen so quickly, uh, and and we continued to the downside. Uh, and it's just like, wow, okay, 700 contracts just went through the book really quickly. Uh, and then it went down another three, 400, 500. Uh, and um, uh, that's where, you know, I thought, wow, this thing is, once those sellers stop selling, uh, this thing is going to fly to the upside. And it took a couple days. Uh, it was a, it's a bigger position uh, that's, uh, that's, you know, getting, uh, getting filled there. Uh, are bigger bigger players. Uh, so how far do you want to look back? I mean, if you can see that, um, you know, uh, if you've collected your data for several days or for the week, uh, then you can go back and, and visit those areas uh, and, and take a look. Um, or, you know, just even if you're just recording your data each day, you can go back and take a look. Uh, and, um, uh, and then you can start to put that together with your bigger picture, okay? So uh, your bigger picture plan is whatever, however it is that you trade. I mean, you're looking maybe for, you know, RSI indicator to switch over. Uh, or maybe you're looking at your candlestick patterns or maybe you're looking at uh, a swing, swing high and lows and, um, uh, you know, putting those all together. But you still understand where all that massive absorption took place. Okay. So, uh, yeah, go back and take a look. 
I, I, I encourage you to take a look and, and see uh, those, some of those areas. And you know what might, might even be more helpful, to be honest? Um, so um, uh, let's, uh, okay, so first off, okay, we're, we saw that move to the downside here. Uh, it was looking good before it happened. You know, we, we're, we're anticipating that move. Uh, we saw a little bit of a, a t you know, kind of a battle go back and forth here with some of the buyers, but the sellers took control. We are now down below that, or that POC area. Okay. Now we just kind of created a new POC. It looks like here, um, and uh, uh, looks like uh, sellers, you know, they, they've they've got uh, they've got control here, right? So uh, I'm looking for uh, continuation here uh, to the downside. Okay. Now we need to we they need to get involved here, uh, else the buyers can step in, and because we're right basically at that point of control. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let me show uh, Glenn what um, what I'm talking about here. Um, so let's just take a look at let's look at the ES. Okay, we're looking at a 30 minute chart here, um, and um, look for where some of the bigger moves happened. Okay, and then look what happened maybe before that. Okay, looking for that absorption. Okay, like for example here. Okay, this move to the downside. Well, I mean, we, we know what's going on up here. I mean, this is a distribution uh, pattern, right? I mean, we have kind of like a, uh, a, double, uh, a double top, but it's also a double head and shoulders. Okay, shoulder, head, head, uh, shoulder, right? This is a, a classic distribution pattern. I would start to look at maybe this area here as well as up here. Look for absorption that happened on August 14th. Okay, uh, and then also look at uh, August 16th and up in these areas here uh, and start to understand, uh, you know, uh, what's going on uh, in, you know, are, how are the larger players, uh, you know, getting in uh, to uh, uh, their positions or getting out of their positions. Uh, and then we're looking for the initiated selling to occur. Okay, and it actually happened, it looks to me like it happened right here, kind of pre-market. When we had our retest again at 10 uh, here um, on uh, August 17th, okay. If you can start to understand these areas here and understand what's going on in those position, positions like we were in oil, you can look for nice moves like this and capture them, okay. So uh, yeah, bigger picture stuff. You can just you can see what I'm talking about here with uh, using the order flow on that higher time frame. Okay, so uh, go back and uh, look at those charts and uh, and and study those areas uh, and then put together a plan that works for you. Okay, all right. Well, look look where uh, we saw the sellers in control. Okay, we we noticed that and we see that continuation to the downside. All right. Okay, so um, you know uh, you're, you're welcome, Glenn. Um, okay, so look, I don't. I, I've said this many times in the past. It's not about being right. It's about reading this correctly. Okay, we read this correctly. Okay, this is a really nice pattern here. We saw the order flow change over. We're looking for a continuation to the upside. Okay, we started to look for where it might go. Right, we also started to note the limit order book telling us a little, little something different here. Okay, and this is exactly that pattern that I was, I was talking about on Wednesday as well. This is a perfect example. It's not. We actually got one more test right here. I like to see the double top, and then I like to see it fail. Um, but um, uh, this is exactly, or this is more or less what that pattern looks like. We come up, we, you know, we retest, we don't find the buyers, sellers take control again here, uh, just above 48, uh, and then press down to the downside, okay? So, so look, look for these patterns, okay? They, they, they occur again and again and again. And we're, we're putting those pieces together before these moves actually take place by understanding the positions in the order flow uh, and uh, and how they're behaving in the limit order book, All right? Now, now we have really nice absorption down here at 48 uh, or 40, 47.80, okay? 
Okay. And uh, what about our, uh, what was our, our price level? We were looking at, uh, I think, 47.40, right? Let's take a look back here. Okay. Let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, 47.40 was our, our, or 41 maybe, yeah, 40 was our level. Okay, so we still have a ways to go. We still have about 20 cents, 22 cents uh, more to go there. All right. So, good stuff. Do you guys uh, uh, is is this um, is this making sense? Is it is it is it coming together for you? Would you like me to go through the the process uh, again? Do you have any questions about it? Okay, you can see I'm integrating you know a lot of the kind of volume profile and uh, auction market theory into this as well. Now maybe you don't trade that way, but still, uh, you can still look for all of these things. I mean, you, you can still look for the transactions and where they're occurring. You can also look for what's going on in that limit order book. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Oh, Homera, the structure lines are really, really simple. I mean, this is about as basic as it gets for a technical analysis. Um, so let me uh, let me uh, go through that, and then uh, I'll get to your question here, Josh. Um, okay, so uh, you know, I'm I'm really just looking at um, you know you know, ba basic uh, areas where there's there's been structure in terms of like consolidation and then a break of that, right? And that break happened here, okay? And then the break, I mean, we can draw a new one in now too because we've broken below, okay? And I, I would say it's, I mean, the, the swing is actually here, right? So you can put it here, okay? We can also maybe put it in maybe this kind of area as well. Maybe, you know, if we integrate it as well with this little cluster up here, you know, kind of just looking, understanding, like, I, I don't really like, I mean, this is, these, <laughs> I'm actually making it harder for you, Hamera. Um, you know, we want to keep it really, really clear. Just look at breaks of structure um, and, uh, and where structure, okay, again, here, uh, you know, I, we can, we can draw like a, the rectangle here, okay. All right. So very clearly we can see this is where we, we had a little swing. Okay. And then we, we uh, broke above it and we accepted, retested where we broke and it still accepted. Okay. And then it, we, we saw the break down occur uh, in real time here. Okay. So it's really, really simple stuff. And these are just horizontal lines. Um, I also like looking at the trend lines. This is what I would recommend Homera. Um, Let's go here. Okay, and I, I recommend all, for for all of you guys here, uh, since you are now in the uh, um, you know the advanced webinar here, uh, this is uh, this is where to go. Let's uh, go to the playlist, and we'll go to our education course. Okay, go back through. Uh, I mean, if you know, number one is pretty it's pretty basic stuff. However, th those basic things have a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of significance behind them, okay? Uh, part two goes through the structure okay, and identifying the structure, okay? That's where you're going to learn how to draw in your lines, okay? And we I also cover in this part here, drawing in your horizontal lines too, okay? Because we're talking about value and time and, and transactions, right? And then part number three, uh, then we're starting to look for um, setups within uh, the, the structures, okay? 
So part number one is just basic mechanics, mechanical things that occur in the in the marketplace, like hitting the bid, lifting the offer. But it, it's extremely important. Yeah, that's the way to go. Is like go go through that educational course because, um, you know, it'll it'll make it uh, uh, I think a lot clearer. So let me actually uh, I'm going to just let's just clear everything out here for a moment, right? Because you can also look here uh, at some of these. Um, you know, why the market trends, okay? And we can have our trend lines and we have a break of a trend line right here, right? So there's traders that look at that. You know, they're looking for you know, this break of this trend line uh, and then they'll go to the downside. They'll be engaged in uh, in the sell side here, okay? But, you know, we can also see that uh, there there was kind of a, um, it, it was trending uh, at least until it broke out here and then it was trending even higher. Uh, but uh, you can you can see the channel, okay? So this is value, but it's not horizontal. It's it's in a trending environment. Okay, so market thinks well, it's a little overpriced up here. Pull back, okay? And uh, it this is this is where the it 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 maybe got a little overvalued because then it it really you know you can see uh, what occurred here, right? We didn't, we didn't come back and test this little area here. We uh, uh, just came right to our, at that point, that was our horizontal line. So I liked it better, okay? So not, I, boy, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Homera, maybe this is a little too confusing, but um, watch that um, second video, okay? That, that'll, that'll clarify it, okay? Okay, good. Um, let's see, Josh. Um, Okay, great, Homera. Uh, let's see. You are asking about uh, the more examples are great. Okay, um, learning to trade using volume profile and book map. So helpful to see. Well, well, uh, thank, thanks, Josh. Re really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, well, we, we've kind of gone through the you know in the last few weeks since we've been doing the the uh, advanced uh, uh, webinars and just jumping right into the order flow. Uh, we, we've seen many times last week when we just didn't know. Um, it wasn't telling us something. Now, Friday it told us a lot, and we, we saw it again and again. Like, uh, you know, just, okay, well, order flow is telling us, like, this is this wants to go up. Order flow is telling us this wants to go back down. And, and we were just nailing it one after another. Okay, We, we nailed it today, too. And we, we saw, like, uh, what, from what occurred, what to anticipate. Uh, and it, it, it told us something, okay? Uh, uh, the week before that, we were looking at the ES, and it's just like, well, God, you know, it, it, I'm not getting the insight. Um, it's, I don't see the commitment here. Uh, therefore, like, stay away. I, we don't know. Uh, and um, uh, then uh, uh, that was a, it was a good, uh, it was a good decision as well. Uh, but. Um, uh, until you until you see uh, and start to understand, um, you know what exactly it is you're looking for, uh, then uh, and and the charts you know very objectively telling you that, well then then uh, you you know what to do, you know how to act. Okay, and one of the best ways to do that. Uh, is uh, uh, by studying again and again, right? So, for example, I want to see this breakdown here. Let's see if we get the uh, breakdown here in uh, in crude. Maybe we'll come down to our 47.40. Um, but um, the uh, a, a really great way of doing that uh, as well. And let me go back here. I'm going to have to make this bigger. Sorry. Uh, is by looking at some of these uh, features and components videos, okay, and then coming down here, uh, and I'll put these into the chat for you, okay, replay data and replay data practical uses. So let me put these two, two in the chat, okay, because you're going to see them again and again. There's one. And here's number two. All right. And uh, 
replay it. Record your data, replay it, uh, and um, uh, start to put the pieces together. Okay. And if you're wrong, go back and look at it. Why? Did it did it tell you something? If it didn't, well then maybe it was telling you not to act. Right. Uh, in this case, like you know, it, it was today was nice. It, it was telling us you know what to start to you know look for and anticipate. Uh, and um, uh, that was uh, that was helpful. Okay. Other times, uh, you know, it's not it's not as clear. All right, all right, guys. Well, um, let's uh, let's call it a day, uh, and uh, we will um, uh, resume uh, tomorrow, and uh, also Wednesday, uh, and then uh, that'll be it for the week, though. Okay, so uh, it's going to be a short week. Uh, and, um, uh, and some, uh, uh, some vacation time here, right? End of August, uh, and then get back into it in, uh, uh, early September. Okay. After Labor Day. All right. All right, guys. Well, um, uh, you can uh, go back and watch the recording, uh, on this. It should be up in about, um, I'll give it another hour and a half or so. It takes some time to, to, uh, uh produce the video. But uh, uh, I'll upload it to YouTube, and uh, you can go back and, uh, and take a look. All right? All right, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, and uh, we will catch up tomorrow. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, thanks, Elijah. Thanks, uh, Guido, Homera, Josh, and, and others. Thank you.